this is my introduction on antivirus, simple and easy to the point. People always want to know, people are always asking me, what is the easiest way to get rid of a freaking virus in my computer? Um, okay, well, my simple, my simple, simple options. Okay, as soon as you get any computer, if it's new or not, because as soon as you get a computer, it comes with antivirus. But it's bullcrap because it's only a trial. You never get a full version of the antivirus. So, what you're going to want to do is simply, as soon as you get your computer, or as soon as you wipe your computer get a new fresh install, you simply just want to go to uh, cnet.com and click on downloads. Once you get to the downloads page, you'll click on security software. I want the most, uh, most uh, popular security software to make this very easy and simple because I do not suggest all of these that are on here. I do suggest AVG antivirus. Get the free edition. When you download it, it's going to want you to download the uh, recommend. It's going to recommend that you get the uh, paid edition. But make sure you get the free edition. It works just as well. My next one that I suggest is anti malware um, because your malware and antivirus they're both a form of virus, but they're different forms of virus. So malware and viruses are different things. I don't suggest Norton's. If you have Norton antivirus, um, get rid of it. And if you're still paying for it, sure you could use it, but it still don't, it doesn't work. Um, my next thing that I would suggest to you most would be Threat Fire Antivirus Free Edition. Just all you have to do, uh, just go on here and find it. Find whatever one you like. Don't go by the rating because a lot of people are like, oh yeah, the ratings are awesome and stuff like that, and it doesn't exactly work. Just to show you some of the other ones, to download it. To download any of the stuff that you find on here, just click on the. There you go. Click on download. And I'm using Google Chrome, so it's a little bit different. And I'll pop up a little thing that says save. I've already done this, so I don't need to save it. But if you're using Firefox, it will pop up with a box somewhere around here, and you can just press save and then double click on the icon to uh, run it, and then install it. It's that simple as that. Um, again. Just install it as soon as you get your computer up and running.